to check the dryer, make sure that the temp is good, check the moisture again, and just overall, um, checking it for dad, usually he does it, so I'm going to show you what that's about a little bit. I won't get into much detail, because again, dad usually does all this, but I like to know some basics, so follow me. there because that's the field I'm doing next but I currently have to walk about a half a mile to get the combine at the other field so no biggie but that's what layers are for in the fall right Woo, burn. so here's where I was walking before down this little path so yes I did make it to the combine and headed to where I parked the grain cart so I can open up this field and continue on. Oh, I see it now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Just about to start the fun. So I am where the combine says I am. Cool. 
Again, with the iPad, a lot of the data is transferred from the monitor here. We got yield, moisture, field acres, field pounds, load pounds, load yield, head height, harvesting crop, load, and our fun little colors for yield because the purpose of that is to be instantly creating a yield map, um, instant data for us. So yeah, it's fun to glance up every now and then, or it's, or it's sad, depending on the field of thought. <laughs> but we had a drought, so um, expectations were a little bit lower than typical, so. <laughs> Here we go. Higher. 
but I'm able to judge it kind of where I wanted to be and I needed to get the corn out of here as soon as I could. I didn't want to take it on the lower side and have some run over the top. But um, yeah, typically I would unload on the other side. <laughs> now I can move a little bit. And I'm able to move the auger out and in and I have a camera, so other than just judging where I think I need to be. This is the right side. Time to eat my lunch while I got a little break here. Like 40 seconds. <laughs> that one was pretty good and full. Um, so dad is back unloading and then he took the green cart and is gonna go fill the boxes up again. So that's the system here. Back at combining, so a little cart time while dad opens up this big field, 
and then I'm gonna take over cop fighting. So, woo woo! Been a fun, adventurous day, I guess. Hopping in and out of things again. <laughs> Gates barely open, but film before it gets crazy fast. <laughs> with the green cart when I was in pretty much a whole night here while dad was opening up this big field the low voltage came up on the dash there and I was dropping to like 11.4 um, shut the lights off pulled out the camera and got it up to like 12.3 but yeah dad t came to look at it too and yeah, if we think the alternator or something's messed up there, it's going because yeah, really dropping voltage there. So he took that home. Hopefully he makes it home safe. Fingers crossed. And I'm going to take the 235 home with this box that has, oh, I don't know. It's not, not quite full. So maybe 400 bushels. I can still see the window yet. <laughs> because yeah it's quitting time we're gonna call it a night thank you again so much for watching these videos i appreciate it more than you know please subscribe it would mean so much to me thank you so much and have a wonderful night or morning or afternoon whenever you're seeing this <laughs> we'll get you on the next one what do you think y'all good and full Let's take you to the next one. There's a little bit of room here yet if you look close. Now um, this one on the other hand, this is what you call full and a little bit more than that. Uh, if you look closely here, <laughs> wait for it. Oh, that's what it's supposed to look like, right? Okay, yep. <laughs> um, yes, guilty. Me, overfilled it. I will admit that because life happens, you know. But um. <laughs> wasn't too much over over the the edge there but there was some on the ground but yeah this is a good and full box I'll tell you that <laughs> first time for the year overfilling a box it's gonna be my last as well okay I did it for the video I mean I had to right <laughs> if only <sighs>